Welcome to Tesla Info and today we are going to talk about scheduling charging and preconditioning. Before we start, don't forget to like the video, ring the bell, and subscribe. A thousand YouTubers have said the same, it really helps us content creators. We will run through each option, explain what happens, and show you how to set it, both in the car and using the app. Let us start with the basics. With nothing set, simply plugging the car into a charger will cause the car to start charging. The car will continue to charge until interrupted or it reaches the charge level you have set in the car. Many people, when they get home, simply plug the car in and the car starts to charge. In colder or hotter climates, you may want to set the car to precondition by a certain time. This will turn on the various heating or cooling in the car depending on the environment and have the car cabin temperature ready for the time you set. It will also start to prepare the battery for your drive if it is particularly cold. If the car is plugged in, then it will draw some extra power to perform this and top up the range if any has been lost due to vampire drain etc. The one thing you remember is it will do this every day or weekday until you turn it off. When setting up scheduling it is worth checking both departure and charging screens as the summary screen is not always accurate. You may also find setting one cancels the other or if set, it may prevent the other from being set. Next we can look at scheduled charging. This is simply adding the start time for charging to be deferred until the chosen hour. The car will continue to charge until full from that point. You can also have preconditioning enabled which will rewaken the car to heat the cabin shortly before you plan to depart. This is where some confusion occurs as preconditioning is set in the alternative tab under scheduling. The last option is one we recommend avoiding. This sets the end time for charging. The car calculates backwards how long it needs to charge and starts the charging automatically so that the car is full by the set hour. Again, you can also set preconditioning to heat the cabin for a different time. The Tesla app and car can be very misleading, and it is worth checking what options are set rather than relying on the summary screen. 